Let's head south to Australia. Bushfires in the west of the country have destroyed many homes and just weeks ago the east coast suffered terrible floods and then the impact of a powerful cyclone. Our reporter Phil Mercer set out to see if the recent run of extreme weather has had an effect on the nation's view of the environment. Even in a country well used to nature's extremes, the ferocity of Cyclone Yasi that battered Queensland earlier this month came as a shock. This is a severe tropical cyclone, Category 5. You can see it very clearly spinning off the coast of Australia. It's gusting, get this, over 300 kilometres per hour. You hear everyone talk about the roar. It's like a freight train coming for you. It's the most scariest thing that I've ever had to deal with. Such extreme events will get worse as global warming increases, according to Professor Ross Garno, the Australian government's official climate change advisor. Addressing an audience in Melbourne, the eminent economist warned that the country's notoriously wild conditions were about to become even more unpredictable. While Australia has always been a place of variable uh, climate, a place of drought and flooding rains, a greater energy in the atmosphere and the seas can intensify extreme events and I'm afraid that uh, we're feeling some of that today. We're feeling that at a time when uh, global warming is in its early stages. Professor Garno says that while global warming might not cause more cyclones or floods, it was likely to make them more potent. He's warning that this summer's disasters in eastern Australia could be just the start of things to come as man-made pollution intensifies. A warming climate does lead to intensification of the sorts of extreme climatic events that we've seen in Queensland. I think that people are wishing to avoid those awful challenges in Queensland will be amongst the people uh, supporting effective action on climate change. Australia, he says, is a world champion emitter of greenhouse gases on a per capita basis. His feeling is that this vast country is sleepwalking towards environmental disaster. Mm -hmm.